Alright guys, so what we have here is 1912 Model T, uh, mostly 12, um, the front end is in there backwards, I've never checked to see if it, ha if it has the DB front axle or the spindles, but it is installed backwards. The frame is wrong, it's a later frame, the block is a 25, it has the hogs head, it's in it is probably the one without the gussets. Um, the block was rebuilt, but the last piston had water in it, and it's not, uh, that's oil that's in it now, but all stainless valves and aluminum pistons, I think they're 40 over. Firewall is there for, as a template, um, the correct irons are on there, the side sills are on there with the hoops, they're, they're again there for, for templates. Body is relatively rough, it's a Wilson body, um, excuse me, the wood is there for patterns, but it is fairly rotted in a few spots. It was, it was not connected to the firewall when I got it. There is a coil box at the switch. It is empty. It is in very good condition. The instructions are still under the, the lid. Um, I do not have the front doors for the body. The rear doors are in there with the strikers and the... Uh, or it's missing the strikers but the latches are in there and the knobs. It has the knobs on the inside. The back bustle of the body is pretty soft but all the wood is there for patterns. You can see that the body does not line up. Um, and it's cracked in a few spots down there in the corners. Same with that side too. Bottom corners. Um, but all the wood is there for patterns and the sheet metal is in relatively good condition. There are a couple of rot holes but it's not too bad. Uh, it does have taper leaf springs and I would like to keep the clamshell rear end that's in it. Um, the other 12 stuff, two more aluminum hogsheads, one with and without the gussets. The front fenders, you can, the bills are really nice on them and the tops are nice but the bottoms are kind of roached. You can see that one's cut off. This is a 15 fender. I was thinking about trying to use it as a patch. Um, there's the other 12 fender front and another 15 that I was going to use for the patch because again the bottom is cut off. Here are the rear fenders which are in good shape except for the bottoms again are whacked off. Um, these are the two. This one's a spare rear. Um, I do have the one splash apron. I forget which side is back in there. I have the running boards um, that are new. Uh, there's an original hood. There's a new hood up there, but it is seized. Um, it's just how I got it. Um, I have a couple of 14 columns there that I was going to use for the top. or for the, the. Oh yeah, there's two sets of top bows up here in the ceiling. They're pretty rough, but they are there. Um, a cast paw, emergency brake. Um, what else? I have all the brass. I have sets of brown one, two sets of brown 19 headlights, um, all the E&Js, Victors, I have a, a Presto light tank and a Victor carbide tank, um, windshield rods for cores, one windshield that I pieced together that is all 12, a couple of extra windshields that are um, brass, but I don't know what they are, they're just extra pieces, and then um, I guess that's about it. I do not have the two-piece drive shaft, I do not have the correct steering column, um, I have the running board brackets, the whole box of them. I have the tail light and a pair, one 12 bracket and one 14 rear fender bracket. Um, a bunch of the tail lights. Um, all of the brackets are in the body. It's in okay shape. Um, there is a gas tank in there. I don't know if it's right or not. The radiator, I have no idea if it holds coolant. But that's basically it. If you have any questions, Scotty Steyer, 815-762-6502. Thanks and have a great day.